And of course, Mr. Speaker, the public safety minister has taken away the powers from all those police agencies. Mr. Speaker, two Canadians travel to Iraq. One goes to fight ISIS with the Canadian Armed Forces. The others decide to join the death cult as a terrorist. Both come back to Canada. The Canadian soldier is injured while serving our country, and the Liberals cut his pay. The ISIS terrorist, on the other hand, also comes back to Canada, but is offered taxpayer-funded reintegration training by the Liberals. Why is the Prime Minister cutting the pay for our injured troops while funding support services for ISIS terrorists? Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, the only cutting of the Canadian Armed Forces that was done was the previous government by billions of dollars. Mr. Speaker. Yeah. With our duty, we're investing in our people, Mr. Speaker. In Chapter Number One, we're looking after people, increasing their pay, increasing their benefits, Mr. Speaker, and, and more importantly, any uh, deployed uh, uh, personnel on an international named operation will be tax-free. That's the. We're going to be making sure that we look after our force. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll see about that, Mr. Speaker. We're making sure that we're going to be looking after our Canadian Armed Forces members.